Hello guys and welcome to my third and final tutorial that I'm doing in collaboration with XP Pen. Um, today I will color and finish the girl that we've been drawing last two times. So if you haven't watched already last two tutorials, I suggest you watch them first. I will link them uh, down below and they will appear somewhere on the screen right now. Um, so I will walk you to, through my process of coloring, shading and lighting. I will be using Photoshop and showing you guys some tips and tricks and I hope you will enjoy it. So without further ado, let's begin coloring. This is what I, what I did last time and uh, from there I always refine the sketch a bit and I also do this. So this is the final sketch which is cleaned up a bit um, and I like what I like to do is I like to put eyelashes on a separate layer and also the irises on a separate layer here is also the highlight on a separate layer why do I do that because uh, right now I will um, change the color of the sketch to a more suitable one and eyelashes I always like to um, darken them to the almost black. So how do I do that? Uh, first of all, select layer where the eyelashes are, then go to this lock option, and then you can choose the color you want. I choose dark gray and just color them. For the whole sketch, I'll do the same thing and I will use a different technique. Um, we're gonna find some nice um, skin color. Something like that, yeah. And then I will go to edit, fill, and choose just leave the foreground color. So it will now all be colored in, in that color. The next step would be to change the layer mode of the final sketch to multiply you'll see later why so under the final sketch layer we will put the first layer which will be the skin layer in order to color the whole silhouette whole silhouette uh, without having to go with a brush and then just you know match all the edges and everything while we are on this layer Go to the magic wand tool and click somewhere outside on the white. And then select inverse. So it will select the inside thing. And now go to the skin layer and then find the skin layer, skin color again that you want and just click fill. And then you have all the thing colored and now just deselect it. And now when we have our layer, main layer set up, we can go color other things. Next is coloring the hair. So on a new layer, which will be set above the skin layer, just create clipping mask so we cannot, we now can choose our color and color it but it won't color outside this border okay so for now we can choose some nice red color let me just grab my bigger brush so I don't mess up the edges and I will just color the edges of this
Uh, now we'll do the same thing for her shirt. So I made an, another layer above the skin layer and made it to um, like a clipping mask to the skin. And I have chosen some nice red, uh, pink color, sorry. Okay, so when we are uh, done with base colors, um, I usually uh, add a new layer also on a clipping mask to the skin and I add blush using airbrush, soft airbrush tool. And when I'm done with that, I add another layer which I set to multiply and on that layer I add um, shading. So for shading, I like to use Kyle, Kyle's uh, big white soft brush. First thing that I do is just add a bit of this darkness to the eyes area. What I also like to do is add shading to the area under, under the head on the neck and I'm just gonna erase the excess like this and also something some shading has to be under the bangs because they they fall over the forehead and naturally they leave some kind of shadow and basically that's it from for the shading. For the lighting, I, al I also add another layer set to overlay. I choose another bright pink color and I only add some lighting to the nose. Like this. Now I'm gonna keep the shading on the hair the same way as I did here and I'm gonna speed this up. So now that I set the base uh, shadow layer, I like to go with a rough uh, pencil brush and add this um, individual hair strands, which will define the shape of the hair better. And um, next I'm going to add highlights and um, some lighter uh, strands and I'll do that on a separate layer set to overlay. And that is my process for coloring, shading and lighting in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. If you want more tutorials from me, you can visit my Patreon page. I have links um, on the screen and down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and thank you XP Pen for this collaboration and see you next time. Bye!